Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. We're always grateful to have you tuning in here today. Got a question for you as we start off. What's your favorite way to waste time? Because we all do it. We all have our own things. Maybe, maybe you're an, a, you know, a, a TV watcher. You love your favorite episodes of TV. You love watching them on you know, live TV if you're still one of those people or Netflix or Hulu or, or however you tuning in to your show. Maybe you love a YouTube and you just love diving in there. Maybe you love reading books and fiction and diving into a good book and you know, a nice cup of tea or coffee or something. Maybe you love just going out in nature and just kind of escaping escaping from everything and just getting lost in whatever it is. We all, I think, have our own mechanisms for how we like to just waste the time. But what's interesting is, is as we live our life, we, we start to, to express more and more of the sentiment of, hey, how quickly time passes, right? I remember when, when I first uh, became a parent and, and all these, these older parents would come up to me and be like, oh, just treasure the time. It goes so quick. Uh, my oldest is now seven and I'm catching myself starting to tell younger parents the same thing and I don't even feel old yet, but I'm starting to share that same sentiment. And, and really when we, we zoom out and we look at the, the span of our life, we realize that is, as much as we think our life is, is long, it's actually a fairly short amount of time in the, the scope of history. And, and when we look at that even of we don't have that much time Maybe we start to question why we waste time, why we, we, we take opportunities to, to be foolish with our use of time and what we do. Maybe it's not with the evenings where we watch our TV shows or sports or read a book, but maybe it's the weeks and months of how we don't invest in relationships or how we don't make a point to, to connect with others or how we don't make a point to share the good news of Jesus with others. See, I say all this, because of what is found in Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians 5, 15 says, Be careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. See, it says we're to, to make the most of every opportunity. We're to, uh, maybe you learned it in, I think the King James says that we're to, to redeem the time. See, when we look at this, we see that God has called each of us to serve him to make a difference in this world. But it's so easy to let days and weeks pass by and those become months and years where we aren't intentionally looking for opportunities to make a difference for the kingdom. And we look up and maybe years have passed and, and we had good intentions of investing in someone or, or sharing you know, the truth of Jesus with them or, or restoring a broken relationship and now months or years have passed by. So today, I don't know where you feel that nudge of where you're maybe not making the most opportunity of your time. It probably isn't in the evenings as you watch your favorite sports team or your TV show, but it's probably in the days and weeks and what you make your priorities, what you focus on, where you invest your time. So today, let me encourage you to, to step back and go, what are the things that I'm putting off? What are the places that God has called me to that I'm not making a point to get in my schedule on a weekly basis? Where are the areas where maybe you've procrastinated and that's turned into years even, or maybe it's just weeks and months where, you know, hey, God has really put this on my heart to do it. And as you identify those, let me encourage you to push through the awkwardness of, I know it's been a while, I know this is overdue, just push through the awkwardness and go and do it. Make the most of every opportunity. Make the most of the time that God has given you not just to, to build our life here and to, to build our career or our fame or anything like that, but to build his kingdom, to say, hey, I, I need to share what God has done in my life. I need to, to invest in you here. So today, let me encourage you to take that step, to look for someone in your life that you need to have a conversation with, that you need to, to follow God's prompting and leading in your life and go and do it this week so that you can make the most of every opportunity. Hopefully you have a great week, Calvary. We'll see you next time.